Day two of back to school begins this morning for public school kids, and some heavy books will be in backpacks very soon. That's right, and with that comes potential issues for some students. Dallas Ontiveros joins us from Ala Moana to explain. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yep, still hanging out here in Ala Moana at the Mission Wellness Chiropractic Club. And we covered a lot of topics when it comes to our overall spine health, from our sleep positions to the backpacks we carry to the back to school season. And now we're taking a closer look on our posture inside and outside the classroom with our friend, Dr. Jeffrey Bellavo. Good morning, doctor. How's morning. it going? It's going great. So as I've been out here throughout Wake Up Today, I can't help to notice but my own posture because we've just been talking about spine health and there's just so much to it. There, there it really is. Yeah. So the next thing that we want to talk about is posture inside the classroom. Okay. So what do you commonly see with our kids and even adults too? Well, the number one thing I commonly see with kids is the rounded shoulders and the forward head. There's a lot of things that are contributing to that. Uh, one is uh, the use of um, a, a keyboard where the head s starts to tend to come forward and then the rounded shoulders like that. Mm -hmm. Especially the sleeping posture as well. If you're sleeping on your shoulder, those are tending to come forward. If you have a pillow behind your head, those things are going to come forward and then bringing that into the classroom it just exacerbates it so these kids are on the books or on the tablets but they're also sitting down for long periods of time too what do the chairs do to our spines well the chairs a lot of the chair uh, the problems with the chairs is the, de the design it should really be a flat chair but whenever it's tilted back like that it starts to round the back of the spine and then that rounds and brings the head, the, the shoulders and the head forward as well. And, you know, a lot of times you're going to see the kids really uh, slouching like that. And it's, it, it's, it's how we set ourselves up for back problems in the future. And you're never really alert and learning in, in, that, in that posture. Neurologically, physiologically, the upright posture is the best for performance, whether it's in the classroom or at, at home in your leisure which is why we always do a posture check with every patient on day one. We'll go live in just a bit in the next half hour, but if you want some more information as to everything that we've been talking about, you can visit our website later today at khwin2.com. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Navarro's KHWIN2 News, working for Hawaii. Even how a person stands, right? Yeah, you gotta stand like this. Like, I feel like, like he's, wa doctor's watching us right now. All right, 708, Tiger Woods has said he